Well, Mark, we're in clown world. <laughs> it was a circus, wasn't it? <laughs> Parliament is just full of clowns. clowns. I'm expecting Lindsay Hoyle to come back in with a flower on his little lapel, like square to water and everything. And big shoes, baggy pants. Oh, God. <laughs> Did you see the guy apologising? Clown. Uh, Too late. Just, I, I'm absolutely <laughs> sick of all of them. Now, I can imagine Michael Gove in a clown outfit as well. Uh, the only difference is, though, the circus are quite disciplined. We put on a good show and it's it's entertaining. I'm like this shower of clowns. I think we're being a bit harsh on clowns. <laughs> <laughs> Take it back, clowns. Um, yeah, these clowns are funny. This lot are not. Uh, they're not funny. It's serious. What what did we witness, John, in Parliament? What, what was going on? I have to say, it was supposed to be an opposition debate. Hmm. And the opposition get a certain amount of days to bring forward a debate. And that's why the SNP got so annoyed at Lindsay Hoyle. A Coco Hoyle. Coco Hoyle. Interfering. Yeah, interfering with processes. Mm. And I, I think it was about 30 to 40 conservative MPs. I mean, when have you ever seen that? Conservative MPs joining with the SNP and walking out. Of the yeah, chamber. I think, I think their agenda might have been slightly different because it was a good excuse to have a right pop at Labour, wasn't it? Well, yeah, but mm. it was an opposition debate. Now, the inference was that Lindsay Hoyle had been got at by Starmer. Do you want to take it from there? Yeah, I think there's two options. He's either been got at in a way where he's been threatened, according to uh, I saw an MP stand up during debate and say someone from Labour the high ranks has t- have told him that's what happened he was threatened with we won't be putting you back in the speaker if you don't do this and then there's Lindsay Hoyle's version which is the, the safety of the MPs but either way to break the convention like that it, it's, it's not good No and no. I can understand why the SNP got annoyed because they yeah. were the ones that called for this debate obviously it's a debate about Gaza Mm. And the technical inference was that basically the speaker was taking away their right of control over what was going on in the debate because it was their debate. And for what? The safety of all members? What does that infer about these Islamic fundamentalists who are complaining about Gaza? Go ahead. Well, I think the politicians are now bearing the fruits of their unwillingness to confront the elephants in the room, John. They've been warned numerous times. We've had MPs stabbed, murdered. Yet these attacks have not stopped it. They continue down the path to the point now our democracy is at serious risk. In fact, I'd go to say as far as if we don't turn this around fast, we've lost. Why weren't the police stopping things that were going on? Like, for example... There was, mm-hmm. a, a, there was a light show going on against Big Ben showing from the river to the sea. I mean, what the hell was all that about? Uh, you know, they're, they're stopping people singing gospel songs and Christian songs in the street because one person complains. What are the police doing? They're a joke. The Met Police are an absolute joke, and it demonstrates two-tiered policing in this country. It does. I don't know what they're playing at, John, to be honest. Again, we could probably play that clown music. But again, this they're too busy picking up on the symptoms of all this. For years, we've told them what the problem is. It's Islam. It, there's yeah, no we, doubt about we, it. It's Islam. What they don't realise is we didn't start this war. They brought the ones, it to us. They brought yeah. it to our shores. And sadly, the ones who've spoken out about it have been the one who've been called names now. Calling people names now for wanting to stop the very people who were threatening the lives of the MPs and our lives and our way of life is just moronic. Tommy Robinson, for what? Look at the way look at the way that what the things that that guy went through and the torment that he was subjected to for warning people about Islam and the Asian grooming gangs and all the rest of that stuff. And we're now faced with it now where they're sitting in. This isn't Gaza. 
This is England. What's happened now, though, John, is they now know, like we do, that our politicians are weak, woke, pathetic quizlings, in my opinion. They've just shown now to the enemy how easy they'll roll over. So my guess is, is the bully's going to be back to take more of their dinner money real soon. Yeah. I think here, John, if the politicians now, it's clearly obvious that they are afraid. And in that case, they need to step aside. We haven't got time now. We need strong leaders who are going to fight this. And we've got to get rid of these political parties. It's time for them to end. We need decent, patriotic people to replace them. The problem we've got here is these woke institutions won't fight back. The ones that are meant to protect us. So like we've just spoke about the police, if the police are going to be too woke and weak to sort this, then they need the, the chief of police needs sacking on the spot. Get and rid then, of him. No, get rid of him and, and his yeah. weak members of the Met Police. They're a joke. There are. are no two ways about it. I would suggest getting the Merseyside police up there because they don't piss around. I'm sorry to... I'd, I'd go a step further and I'd have the army now. Yeah, well, them, good as choice. Soon as, someone, as soon as someone appears outside the politician's house, they are rounded up and they are gone. Yeah. We need to start now getting rid of the people who hate our country from this country. I'm not being funny, John, but, it, but Islam does and says what it wants. Yeah. It will do anything it wants to further its gain. Now, this might be tough for, for people to take in, but you but can't be sure it does this anymore. It, it's now, it now influencing our parliamentary process and dictating how our constitutional monarchy works. Yeah, it's wrong. Gone. That's treason. Yeah, absolutely. And, and our I, Bill of Rights, for, sorry, but that, our Bill of Rights forbids foreign power ruling over us. We've got to defend our constitution. And they will not fight for our country. How many videos do you see on TikTok? How many videos do you see on YouTube, which actually demonstrates the fact where they're asked, are they going to defend this country? And they say, no, we will defend Islam. That's it. Look, John, everybody knows there's a problem and what the problem is. It can't be left to the likes of us to keep pointing this out now. Now, it was good to hear some of the MPs have actually now nailed the problem. Some Robert the Jenry, one. for one. Yeah, who's the other one? Danny Kruger, is it? That's it. That's the guy. But again, there's no point just saying stuff. They've got to act. Yeah. Yes, we know not everyone who follows that religion, religion sorry, are in favour of these things. But, John, we've had to endure 40 years of rape gangs and 20 years of being stabbed and blown up. Yep. Now now we've got this 1920s feel to what's going on with this Palestine, Gaza, whatever you want to call it thing, yep. on our streets, online. And their community, I'm sorry to say this, haven't weeded them out. No. And our authorities won't go after them. We quite say, the opposite of what we've just witnessed. We say moderate Muslims who want to integrate, yes, they're welcome. These Islamic fundamentalists, get them out, deport them, get rid of them. Because... They are no good for this country. And the way that they keep on pushing Islam to the extent where it interferes with our democracy, which is the point that you're making, is beyond belief. And have we got to prove as a country how tolerant we are by allowing them to take over? You can go kiss it. It isn't going to happen. Sorry. No, no, more, no more tolerance to those who are intolerant towards us. Indeed. I want a little message to the politicians and the police now who, who facilitate this. Remember this. This is not ours to give away. It's our job to actually leave a safe and proper, prosperous society to pass down. The same one our ancestors fought to leave for us. Now I think it's time for everybody now to show historically who these people are who facilitated our demise and they can be remembered in history as the bad guys. Yeah. Or option two, Join us and fix this now. Yeah. Because I'm going to say to them, will they be able to look their children and their grandchildren in the eyes and say they did all they could? No. It looks like we'll be telling our kids and our grandchildren exactly who was to blame for all this. This has got to stop now. This is not. Well, I tell you now, clown world. We've got to clown do something. World, yeah. uh, listen, thanks very much for the thought of the day. You made some perfect sense, sir. I'm just very annoyed at what's going on. Yeah, me too. Curious. And we look like a clown show. <laughs> <laughs>